How to use Shopify Marketplace Connect app with Amazon, Etsy, and eBay. Hello guys, and welcome to this new tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you how you can use the Marketplace Connect app, which is from Shopify, to connect your stores from Shopify to Amazon, Etsy, and also eBay. It is very easy and very simple. All you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end, and you are going to be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to head over shopify.com. Once you are here, you need only to sign in into your account until you see here the admin dashboard. So everything is just fine here. So now we need the app to install. So we are going to head over the header, click on the search bar, then we are going to type in Shopify marketplace market market like that place we are going to put space connect like that then we are going to see the app popping up right there you can go ahead and click on the search uh, the shopify marketplace connect if it is not appearing right there in the shopify app store and then it will uh, show you the result so from all of these apps, we only need uh, this one. As you can see, we can sell on Amazon, Target Plus, Walmart, eBay from only our Shopify account. So we are going to click on this app. It is uh, free to install. Of course, uh, here we have the developer, which is Shopify. So we are going to click on install. Once you have clicked on install, we are going to click on install again in this page. Then we are going to grant the uh, installation process. Here again, click on install. Now we are going to wait for a few seconds until we see the app pop in right there, either in those th the sales channels or on the app section. So if it is uh, here on the apps, we are going to pin it right away. So it is set to the apps. We're going to click on pin to your navigation. Boom. And here we have the choices to connect our uh, sales channels. So we have the first one, Amazon. The second one, eBay. The third one, Etsy. And the fourth one, which is the last one, Walmart. So in my case, I don't have an Amazon store. So we can just connect our Amazon account or store by clicking on connect Amazon right there. You can acknowledge here, acknowledge and uh, proceed. You're going to search and use the marketplace from here. For example, we have amazon.com or .ca co, uh, .uk. I'm going to click on connect. It will take you here to the pop up uh, of Amazon seller central, as you can see. Unfortunately, I don't have a Amazon Central uh, account. This is just a test account. A little disclaimer, guys. Everything created in this video, such as email addresses and accounts, are created only for the sake of the video. So, right there, I'm going to try and connect my eBay account. I know that I have a seller account on eBay because it is very easy to create a uh, seller account on ebay so we are going to continue with our google select one of the accounts that we own then we are going to set it up here all of these email addresses are created only for the sake of the video and not for any personal uses so i'm going to skip for now this here we are going to give the permission so we are going to read and give the permission. So now we are going to select our eBay marketplace. We have also the same thing right here. But after you have signed in into your eBay account, as you can see, so we are going to choose eBay.com. We are going to click on submit. Now here, as you can see, we have eBay connected. So the seller account status here is successfully connected. We can go ahead and click on next and link our eBay listing to our Shopify product. You can see here that we have nothing. Uh, it will maybe take some uh, time to make the listing. 
So for the next step, we have the barcodes set up. You can edit in the Marketplace Connect right there. And also, finally, we have the order import settings. So you can go ahead and click on finish. And this is our eBay account. So you have the link listing. We have everything from there. We have the business policy. You can use the business policy from eBay, activate that eBay item condition policy. You need to activate that if you want. You can manage the listing. Also says set the synchronization, the currency conversion, the eBay template. Like here we have the logo. You can go ahead and upload a logo and you can preview and edit the template from here. Here we have the preview. So as you can see, this is a preview. Now we are going back. And do we have some feedback taxes, also settings. You can add the uh, feedback to the buyers when the order is complete, paid, or never send eBay uh, or feedback. Here we have the taxes. You can send sales taxes to Shopify or allow eBay to withhold and remit sales taxes on your behalf. So that was for the eBay. I am going to click on add and then we are going to see the other options that we have. Amazon is okay. Walmart also, I don't have a uh, seller account on Walmart. If you have, go ahead and click on connect. You're going to click on acknowledge and continue. Here you need to set up the Walmart client ID and the uh, Walmart client secret. Then click on connect. For Etsy, we have here uh, the same process. We're going to set up here the, uh, as you can see, the email then we are going to click on sign in this is very simple let's see here and wait for a few seconds boom would like to connect yes i would like to grant the access and here we have it etsy is connected we have the same thing the etsy shipping profile you need to set those and here we have the etsy return policy you can link etsy listing to shopify products and then we have the order import setting. After you have set everything, you can see here and explore the Marketplace Connect app and see the listings, which are the products that you have in your store. You can add a mapping to them through right here, a mini process uh, to your stores or your external sales channels. You can link the listings or edit them in bulk. We have the mapping here. As you can see, we have the uh, option to set up the status, SKU code, the quantity, and etc. We have the uh, possibility to manage the orders from here. You're going to see here the marketplace order ID, Shopify order number, and the total, everything is right here. We have also the settings panel. You're going to see here every store that you have, then you can manage them, disconnect them, or uh, reconnect them, set up everything from there. We have also the, uh, as you can see here, the Etsy. We have the link uh, listing, the new listing, and the order import. So that was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content, and I hope to see you soon on the next one.